understand the how and the why behind the use of Doppler in ultrasound imaging, you must be thoroughly familiar with the hemodynamic principles of blood flow. So, we'll begin our discussion with hemodynamics. Hemodynamics is defined as the study of the movement of blood flow and the forces related to blood flow. In the body, blood flows differently in the arteries than in the veins. Blood flow in the arteries is pulsatile, and the energy source to move the blood comes from the cardiac contraction of the heart. The contraction phase of the left ventricle of the heart is called systole, and the relaxation phase is called diastole. With each contraction and relaxation of the heart, both the velocity and the volume of the flowing blood changes. The volume flow rate is the volume of blood that passes through a given area in a unit of time. Looking at these cars on the freeway will help you to understand the concepts of velocity and volume flow rates better. Ask yourself, how many cars are moving from point A to point B in three seconds? That's the volume flow rate. Units to express volume flow rate must include volume and time, such as liters per second. The velocity flow rate relates to how fast the blood is flowing. Again, look at the cars on this freeway. This time, ask yourself, how fast are the cars going? This is the flow velocity. The units are related to distance and time, such as 65 miles per hour, or in the case of blood, 100 centimeters per second. In order for blood to flow, there must be a pressure difference between two points within the vessel. We call this the energy gradient or pressure gradient. The volume of flow depends on the total fluid energy difference between one location and a second location. The greater the energy gradient, the greater the volume flow. In looking at this graphic, which one will have an increased volume flow? That's right, the one on the bottom, because it has an increased energy gradient or pressure difference. Now let's take an even closer look at the relationship between pressure and flow. Poiseuille's law is an equation that answers the question, how much blood is flowing through a vessel? Three factors play a part in this equation. They are volume flow, pressure, and resistance to flow. Volume flow is equal to pressure divided by resistance. In looking at this equation, you can see that volume flow increases with a pressure increase or a resistance decrease. If you found this video helpful, please like us. And for more information about ultrasound physics and preparing for the SPI exam, visit our website at www.spiexam.com.